this has nothing to do with you. You you have no say in this. You have nothing to do with our agenda, nothing to do with our assignment. And he's cut off Sambalot. He kept Sambalot. He denied Sambalot access to him. He denied Sambalot access to him. And so you need to understand, first of all, we take authority over that spirit of that monitoring spirit and we cut off his access. We deny access to it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Nehemiah, see a lot of folks conflate love with access. See, just because you love someone or you love everyone doesn't mean you give everyone access. Even Jesus said, to them I speak in parables, but to you, his disciples, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. So I'm telling you, friends, you need to beware of a monitoring spirit. And I'm, not I'm not talking about being fearful. I'm not talking about being suspicious. I'm talking about being discerning. You need to understand the difference between a friend and a foe. You need to understand the difference between a ministering spirit and a monitoring spirit. See, God sends ministry spirits. He sends angels to us. Angels of, in, in the form of, first of all, of angels are spiritual beings, right, uh, who are very powerful, who God sends to us. He sends angels. But there are also demons. There are demons. And there are other, and the word angel, agalos, it also means a messenger, right? So there's messengers of God and there's messengers of Satan human agents and angelic beings uh, uh, alike who have an assignment to help you. God will send you help. He'll send people to you who can minister to you. He'll send people to you that will encourage you. He'll send people to you that will give you a word of exhortation. He'll send people to you to intercede for you. He will send intercessors. But the devil sends interceptors. Come on. God sends people to minister Satan sends people to monitor, uh, to, to monitor. Some folks are ministers and others are sinisters. They need to know the difference. You need to know the difference. You need to be able to discern the difference and recognize, you know what? No, I, you're not the person I'm supposed to submit my prayer request to. You're not the person I'm supposed to tell my vision to. You're not the person I'm supposed to invite into my inner circle. You're not that person. I don't, I discern that that's not your assignment. But there are folks who are God, who God has called to minister to you. People that have been sent to help you. People who have been sent to cover you. Not expose you, but to cover you. And to strengthen you. And to help you get to where you're called to be. Those are ministers. Those are ministering spirits. Come on, somebody. But there are some that are seeking to find out areas where you're weak, areas where you're susceptible, areas where you can be accused. Those are monitoring spirits. You need to know the difference. Hebrews tells us, are not they ministering spirits who are sent forth as heirs of salvation, sent forth to minister to heirs of salvation. See what I'm saying, people? So this is how witchcraft works. When, when, when a lot of times you have stuff like astral projection in the demonic realm. And what astral projection is where a person will, will, will project themselves through an astral plane in order to surveil to surveil in order to watch folks. They literally will project themselves into people's homes, project themselves into people's uh, uh, bathrooms and their kitchens to see what's going on. That happened to me one time. I was preaching overseas, and someone came to me, and they, they, they thought they were being prophetic, and they said, in the spirit, I was in your house, and I saw, and this person had never left their country. I was, I was in a third world country. This person had never left their country, had never been to the United States ever in their lives, and could describe my car, the way my house looked, my, my, my driveway. And you know what I said? I said, I take authority over you, you monitoring spirits. 
Jesus, you're not a prophet. You're a demon. Come on, somebody. Who, who gives you the right to be in my house? I didn't give you permission to be in my house. I didn't give you permission to watch me. Come on, somebody. These are mailing spirits. They're not from God. A lot of it is demonic stuff. Now, God can give a, a prophet a word of knowledge and give them insight. He can give them visions to see. I'm not, I'm not saying that anybody that sees or anybody that has vision or anyone that can can, can discern or, or, or God has revealed things about you to them is not from God. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying sometimes what you're dealing with is not uh, a, a ministering spirit. You're dealing with a monitoring spirit. You need to know the difference. Come on, somebody. So we take authority over that right now. We break the power of every monitoring spirit sent to your house, sent to your relationship. Every nefarious thing, every diabolical thing, every wicked thing that has an assignment to infringe, to infringe on your privacy. To infringe, come on somebody, on the on the on the details of your next move. We cancel that right now. In the name of Jesus. We cancel it. And we also deactivate any technology that's being used to surveil you against your will. In Jesus' name. I don't care if it's coming through the phone, the iPad, I don't care if it's coming through your smart devices, your TV. We deactivate every ungodly surveillance system that has been sent to monitor you, that has been sent to report back to base things about you that can be leveraged against you. Lord, in Jesus' name, we cancel the assignment of every monitoring demon. In Jesus' name, share this. I want that treasure. <gasps> Monster, let's kill it. Yay, I did it. Go get that treasure. Ah, it bumped into the ore. Try again. Oh, yeah, I treasure it. Oh, yeah. Let's get some water. Now, Hey, friends all over the world. I, I come to you tonight. want to share something really important with you. Something that I've been praying about all day today. Been praying and fasting and really seeking God, and I have a word that I believe is going to really help us tonight, and I just want you to share it with somebody, and just, just make sure you listen to what the word is. 